There. And uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. Admiral Piscat has been under the state of emergency since the mid-March of 2009. INAC has refused the community's request for immediate evacuation until its safe return. Instead, they stretched the cleanup for two more years. Otto Piscat children have no real school for nine years. Nine years! How long is nine years? That's more than half of our lives. We're only students in the school. Think about that, guys. You know what? Now, in 2000, the great school was closed because the children were getting sick. Only 49% of schools on First Nations reserves are listed as in good conditions. Otto Piscat is an isolated flying community on the coast of James Bay. It is located 455 kilometers north of Timmins, Ontario. Roughly 600 students are, aren't in school because of environmental contamination affecting the community. Population of 1,500 are south. Almost 21% of schools on the reserves have not been inspected for quality of their facilities. A massive diesel spill occurred in 1979 while the government of Canada was operating the school. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? In the fall of 2004, the community had their second major rally to meet with the INAC for their new school. Finally, after a few years and numerous negotiations, hope was becoming a reality for the children getting a new school. However, in August 2007, a new INAC minister, Mr. Chuck Starl, took over under the conservative leadership and killed the dream for the new school. Starl, quoting, said, we simply don't have the funds to build a new school. Can I ask you guys a question? What, what are you doing to help?